of Mutalibov and Ter Petrosyan in Moscow will be tense because the presidents will have to take into account the, put the positions of political parties and fractions back home. is based on the goal of retaining territorial integrity. The Popular Front Azerbaijan units will find other sources if these are cut off, including non-government organizations in Iran. about Armenian diaspora mercenaries who are well trained in military exercises participating in the uh, in the conflict national problem any attempt by either one of the leaders to act on principle will but the positions of the nationalist organizations in their republics. We cannot count on solving this problem quickly. Tara Petrosyan to go to Nagorno-Karabakh and to live there for a week together and see with their own eyes what's going on. And I think then they would agree and we could solve this matter. We'll meet in Moscow tomorrow. Representatives of the Syrian diaspora of Armenia confirm reports that they are participating in Syria, about 200,000. Among them are first class lawyers, doctors, craftspeople, and successful traders. They are alarmed by the events in Nagorno-Karabakh and they, they're not talking just about the bloodshed. We talked about this with leading figures of the John do not want to fight each other but nevertheless someone is provoking them to fight attempting to create animosity on a religious basis. I remember when I was there understand what has become of the situation now. We have also heard that Armenian volunteers, including those from neighboring Lebanon, are going to fight in Nagorno-Karabakh. We believe that the Russians should determine their position and prevent the bloodshed. Today in Georgian president. Today, Marshal Shapishnikov said that the military has not given any military equipment to the Georgian military. Which we are now using in order to guarantee communications and the work of military bases. After we restore order, we will has decided to meet with Mr. Sigwa, one of the current Georgian leaders. The Penta Olympic Hotel is the site of the visit of the U.S. Secretary behind these closed doors. Before the meeting, Baker and Sigwa answered reporters' questions, including the question of of Gamsa Khurdia in exchange for the establishment of diplomatic relations with the United States. The Georgian Prime Minister answered that the people of Georgia are not yet prepared for this. There will be new parliamentary
Republic will be. Today, the Russian Foreign Minister Kozarev and Secretary of State Baker more quickly and to use our high-level contacts at the level of ministers of foreign affairs in order to uh, ensure that the president Uh, remarked on the closeness of the positions on disarmament of the two countries. Agreeing with this, the U.S. Secretary of State noted that Russian-American relations operation concerning the decision by President Yeltsin to re-aim nuclear missiles. Baker said he supports the spirit of this decision American-Russian uh, negotiations will be continued in March. The fate of several hundred American in Moscow, a U.S. Senate de delegation re received information about these soldiers from the KGB archives, soldiers who were captured or killed by North said that he was told in Hanoi that several dozen soldiers who were captured in Vietnam are still there. Vietnam, Vietnamese authorities deny this. There are still many questions for us because we are getting new reports about Americans taken to the Soviet Union. Vietnam War veterans say Soviet camps. There were reports that Americans are not only in the Far East but in the European part of the Soviet Union as well, in Vladimir, Omsk, Irkutsk. Residents, Americans were held there in the 1960s. In December of last year, the National Security former Soviet republics. Now, the senators have found the KGB archives contain no such evidence, but searches in the Iran, Turkey, Azerbaijan, Turkmenia, the Prime Minister of Pakistan, and also representatives of Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan, and Tajikistan. Kazakhstan participated at of the Lebanese group Hezbollah launched rocket fire into Israeli territory as a result of which several buildings were destroyed. There are no casualties among the Connellites. Second day of shelling which is being conducted to avenge the death of their leader Musawi. They vowed to fight the enemy until victory is won. Day to attend the funeral of the General Secretary of the pro Iranian terrorist group Hezbollah Abbas Musawi, who died along with members of his family in a rocket attack on his. as well. The Palestinian delegation has decided not to participate in the fourth round of Arab Israeli negotiations, which were to begin. decision was taken because of the provocation of Israel, its continued colonization of Arab lands, and the arrest of two members of the Palestinian delegation. North Korea today for negotiations aimed at reducing military tension on the Korean peninsula and developing inter-Korean exchanges and cooperation.
is being held. Five Democrats and two Republics are fighting for the votes uh, for delegates to the national conventions of each party, which will officially nominate candidates. Hearings about the case of two Libyan citizens accused in the United States and the Libyan judicial authorities. Libya had earlier promised to conduct open proceedings in order to remove all accusations and suspicion. participation in the assassination attempt